chimney hopping, delivering presents, and potentially murdering you. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the shop. Today's exciting because we're gonna make us a Christmas themed scroll saw project. And we're gonna do it of everyone's favorite lovable supervillain, the Joker. Nothing says Merry Christmas like a psychopath, chimney hopping, delivering presents, and potentially murdering you. But first things first, we need some artwork. I grabbed some pencils and did some sketching to figure out what I want our artwork to look like. We need to have Joker looking menacing. He needs to be fancy, so he ought to wear his suit and a bow tie. And also it needs to be festive. So let's throw on a awesome Santa hat. I took it over to Inkscape, scanned it so that I can make a template that I can then use over and over again because we're definitely gonna go through lots of paper with this. Printed it out and now I have my template so I can rock and roll. I got the template all printed out, so now it's time to work on getting all the materials ready for this project. And we're gonna need quite a bit. So the actual foundation of this is gonna be Wenge, and that's gonna be the dark areas, and then we're gonna put Walnut on top of that, that's gonna be the background. After that though, we need a whole bunch of colors. We're gonna need some Holly, some Purple Heart, some Bloodwood, some Orangewood, Lignum Vitae, and probably other things. I don't know, we'll take them one at a time. The first thing we need is a Wenge panel, so Montage time? I got my wing gate panels that I'm gluing up. And whenever I'm gluing up panels, I like to mark them with a triangle and then put them together and run them through my joiner. That way I know that I'm gonna have a really good edge. I'm not gonna have any gaps whenever I do my glue up. That's looking pretty good. We can set that over to the side because I went ahead and got my walnut panels here too. Now these are much, much thinner. While my wing gate panel is about a half inch thick, the walnut is only around an eighth inch thick. So I had to take a piece of walnut and resaw it down to an eighth of an inch. Got two panels here that should work plenty. Now I need to glue these edges together. What I noticed about doing scroll saw work and using panels or whatever pieces we need to use, it always seems like the piece that I'm making is too thin until I actually use it in my project. And then I realize, oh, that's actually kind of thick. So an eighth of an inch seems awful thin, but whenever you start putting piece after piece and you start stacking pieces together and do your layering, then you end up finding out that an eighth of an inch is actually pretty good. So most of the stuff I'm gonna do is gonna be an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths of an inch. Um, that'll probably be the thickest that, that we'll do. Whenever I'm gluing up really thin panels like this, I typically don't use clamps because they're easy, the panels are easy to bow. I will usually just use blue tape and clamp it down or weigh it down on something flat. So blue tape to hold the seams together, lay it on something flat, put some weights on top of it, and I get a really good flat panel that way. But I figured we'll try clamps this time, see how it goes. Looks pretty good. Time to patiently let it dry. I got a bit impatient, so I went ahead and milled up some holly because I know we're going to use a lot of that on the Joker's face. So I milled that up, glued up that panel. That's ready to go for whenever it comes time to actually use it. Now the walnut panel is good to go. So I sanded this down to its final thickness. So it's about an eighth of an inch thick. And then on the one side, that's going to be the, the show side. I used a sander and sanded it all the way up to 180 grit. It's just easier to sand this now before I cut it then I try to sand it whenever I've got a bunch of jagged pieces in it. So now it is time to take our pattern, put them all together and stick it onto our board. While I'm putting together the template, I wanna give a big shout out to our superhero community over on Patreon. If you are interested in becoming a superhero yourself and helping to support the channel, then head on over to Patreon or hit the join button and you can sign up to get extra videos, sneak peeks, behind the scenes, all kinds of good stuff. And it really helps out the channel, helps me to put out better content here on YouTube. Joker is all taped up, so now I get to stick him onto the walnut panel. I'm just gonna use some spray adhesive to do that. And then I'm gonna wrap the whole thing in packing tape because I seem to get just a cleaner cut whenever I do that. Some people don't like to use spray adhesive. Instead, they will use 
some blue tape and CA glue and basically do the old tape, CA glue, another piece of tape, and then like you peel it off that way. Six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. Pick the method that works best for you. I like using spray adhesive. I find it to be much quicker, but that's just me. Boom. I got the scroll saw set up, ready to go. I'm gonna be using a five reverse tooth blade. That's my go-to blade for most operations. I feel like I get a really smooth cut. If there are tighter areas as we're moving through this project, I might jump down to a number two blade or number three blade. But for most of it, I'm gonna be using that five reverse tooth. I drilled a pilot hole, so I get to stick my blade through there. And the plan is to cut all of the inside part. Don't wanna cut the outside, I just wanna cut the inside. And hopefully I remember that. Joker looks pretty sweet, and I have to recommend change your blade out a lot. Scroll saw blades really aren't that much, and because I made sure I was using a sharp blade, I have a really high polished inside edge, so I don't even have to do any sanding on this on the inside. Now, what I am going to do is knock off a little bit of the fuzzies on the back edge because I'm going to glue this onto my Wingay board. I don't want to have any of those just accidentally peeking out. Much easier to do it now than later. So I'm just going to grab some 180 grit, buzz off some of those fuzzies, and then glue it on. I want to make sure that I'm applying enough glue, which means covering the entire surface with glue, but I do not want to douse this with glue. I know some people love coating everything in glue. However, when you're dealing with something like this, it can be a nightmare to then clean out all of that squeeze out. So it's not really about having a ton of glue, it's about having glue covering the entire surface. And to make sure I have some even clamping pressure, I am going to apply calls across the whole thing. All right, I think we're pretty good. Now I'm gonna let all of this dry overnight, tackle it again in the morning. I spent some time this morning cleaning up any of that glue squeeze out, which fortunately was not very much because we were smart with our glue, but everything is glued down good. Huh? Pretty nice, huh? We need to make this fit into a picture frame. And fortunately, if you watched the last video, I made a picture frame. This was made specifically for the Joker picture. So I'm going to take this over to the table saw, cut it to size until it fits into our frame. Joker silhouette looks amazing in that frame. Now it's time for the fun part. Well, actually that part was fun too. So the more funner part, which is actually cutting out all the parts that go in there and making up the Joker's face and, and all the other stuff. I'm gonna start with his head. So I have this beautiful piece of holly, super duper white because well, the Joker's skin is white. And I also printed out a picture of the Joker. Time to stick it on there and cut out all of these tiny little pieces. Well, the workbench is a mess, but I guess that means that we're being super productive. I have cut out a lot of the pieces already for the face. And I, I really cut out the, the big pieces because I'm gonna use those to align all the smaller pieces. And one thing that is important for me, at least whenever I'm trying to do this, is I'm keeping all of my off cuts. The, the black areas that I don't want, I'm keeping those because they're gonna help to align everything together so we don't have his face become super distorted. But then I get us the Joker, so distorted might actually look kind of cool. I took my offcuts and pressed them up against the walnut. I know that my piece is gonna fit exactly where it needs to go. Now, as far as glue goes, I'm gonna use a combination of glues. I'm gonna use some CA glue every once in a while, whenever I need it, especially for the smaller parts. And I'm gonna be using some good old fashioned regular wood glue. 
Again, I don't want to go crazy on the glue because then that's a lot of squeeze out that I have to clean up. Well, that was a ton of work, but I have to say, Joker's looking pretty menacing. I'm digging it. So now we've done all of that holly. I think we've got all the white parts done, but we'll see. Maybe I missed something. This is a good reason why you want to keep scraps. So I have this tiny scrap of lignum vitae, and we do need green because it's the Joker. And this scrap is just big enough for me to be able to get his hair and his eyes. So as we're dealing with the Joker's hair and the hair kind of flows outwards, I'm gonna turn my workpiece to the side so the grain kind of matches how the hair naturally would flow. We're gonna need a lot of red for this project. So I went ahead and glued up a panel of blood wood and all that's gonna be for the Santa hat. But we do need a little bit of red for his lips. Cause right now we need to finish up his face and he kind of looks like a toothless old man. But I did find this little piece of blood wood which is the perfect size, perfect thickness for what I need to do his lips. So I am going to cut those out. Now this piece is a little bit thicker than the rest of his face, which is cool because then we can kind of sand it and sculpt it and make it look more like lips that stick out from someone's face like they normally would. Now that we got Joker's mouth done, we can work on that Santa hat. And you know, Santa hats always have that white brim thing, right? So I was trying to decide, do I want to use holly because it's white or should I go with something else like maple? Well, we put so much holly on his face that it just feels like it's going to be overkill. So instead I'm going to go with maple. And I think it's going to be kind of cool because it'll just kind of look dingy. And I imagine the Joker would wear kind of a gross hat. After gluing the rim in place, I went ahead and finished up the rest of the sand hat. For the red, I used Bloodwood. Love the color of it and it coordinates really well with the frame that we're going to put this in. One thing that I like about the hat is it's kind of a large piece. So once you put it on Joker's head, you have all that color just jump out at you, especially compared to all the white that's on his face and also the rim of the hat. But you know what? I think my favorite aspect of the hat is the little ball that's on the end. I just really like how some of the shadows are with that. So it's kind of strange, but that part might be my favorite. Joker's looking fantastic. So now it's time to work on his outfit. So we're going to need a bow tie. We're going to need an orange shirt and we need that classic purple jacket, purple suit that the Joker wears. So I've got some off cuts here. I've got a piece of purple heart. So I'm going to start working on those starting with the bow tie. Spent some time doing some sanding, sculpting, a bunch of cleanup work. So now it's time to actually apply the finish. And for finish, I'm gonna use some Armor Seal Satin. Figure I'll apply two or three coats. I'm gonna take a brush and try to get in all of the tight areas first. 
Then I can go back and do the rest. I end up applying three coats of finish. And I have to say, I love how it turned out. It was exactly what I was picturing in my head. We got to use all kinds of really cool woods, different colors, and everything just kind of tied together. And it worked out perfectly. I have to say, I love the picture frame that it's in. I don't think that I would have liked going with a dark frame with that dark background. And I really like that there's a little bit of that blood wood just kind of poking out here and there and it matches and coordinates really well with the Joker Santa hat. I know that I just finished this up, but I'm already starting to think, what can I make for my next scroll saw project? These things are really addictive. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it gives you a little bit of inspiration to try to do some scroll saw work of your own, whether you're using your own artwork or someone else's artwork. Really the point is just to try to jump in and try to do it. And until we meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome.